everyone, I'm Maggie. Welcome back to No Frills Kitchen. And today we're going to be making a French onion soup recipe without wine, sherry, or any other kind of alcohol. French onion soup is one of the most fundamentally simple soups that you can make, but there are a few areas where you can go wrong. I have also included tips on how to make this soup without crocs or oven safe bowls, so it's an accessible recipe to anyone who has the patience and time to tackle it. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more recipes like this. French onion soup doesn't use a lot of ingredients, but one thing you're going to use a lot of is onions. To start off, you need to thinly slice about a kilo of yellow onions. The way I do this is by removing the flower end, placing the flat end on the cutting board, and slicing it in half through the root end. Then, I use my knife to remove the root by cutting a V-shaped notch. This helps the onion layers separate more easily. Now, all I do is slice the onion thinly pole to pole. Repeat this process until all of your onions are sliced. I really recommend making sure that your knife is razor sharp to avoid your eyes burning like crazy. On the stovetop, melt 80 grams of butter over medium-low heat in a large pot. Once the butter is foamy, add all of your onions along with a generous pinch of salt. This will help the onions begin releasing moisture and breaking down quicker. Stir the onions to completely coat them in butter. We're not going to be taking any shortcuts when it comes to caramelizing these onions because they always wield inferior results. We're simply going to keep the heat very low and stir these onions every so often to ensure nothing is burning. After about 10 minutes, you'll notice your onions have reduced significantly in size and have begun to soften, but they haven't taken on any color. You don't want any superficial browning to happen to these onions at all. That's not the goal here. What we're looking for is deep, even caramelization, and that's only going to happen with time. After another 10 minutes, you should notice your onions beginning to take on a slightly pale color, but they are by no means even close to reaching the stage we're looking for. Continue stirring and cooking for another 30 to 40 minutes, observing how the onions are changing along the way. Be careful not to have the heat too high, and if they look like they're browning, turn the heat down. Once your onions have reached an even golden brown like they have here, it's time to move on to assembling your soup. It will take about an hour to reach this stage. Because we're not using wine in this French onion soup, we're going to mix together 30 mils of apple cider vinegar with 60 mils of homemade chicken stock. Now, pour this mixture over your onions to deglaze the pan. Allow this to simmer until the majority of the liquid has evaporated. Increase the heat to medium and pour over one and a half liters of homemade chicken stock. You can use store-bought chicken stock here so long as it's flavorful and really high quality, but don't use store-bought beef stock. If you have any homemade beef stock, use that instead. Bring the soup to a boil, then reduce the heat, cover, and allow it to bubble away at a gentle simmer until the flavors meld and become a bit more homogenous, about 20 to 30 more minutes. While your soup is simmering, grate about 100 grams of Gruyere cheese. I actually can't find Gruyere cheese at all here in Tbilisi, Georgia, so I have to use Emmental, which will do in a pinch, but use Gruyere if you can get it. Pile your grated cheese on top of some lightly toasted bread and transfer it to a broiler until it's completely melted and lightly browned on top. Cut the toasts in half. Once your soup is finished, ladle a small portion into the bottom of the bowl and put one of your toast halves on top. Fill the bowl with more soup and top with your remaining toast half. Now, all there is left to do is dig in. It's always incredible to me how complex and flavorful the soup can be with so few ingredients. I really recommend trying it for yourself. And that's how you make French onion soup. This is not a difficult recipe if you're patient and the results are so delicious that it's well worth the time it takes. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more recipes like this. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos.